Hello, my name is Dr. Rakesh Jalali. I'm the medical director of Apollo Proton Cancer Center here in Chennai. I'm standing in front of a very sophisticated technology called proton therapy. Proton therapy is probably the most precise and most sophisticated form of radiation therapy, which is a very important integral component of modern cancer treatment. The modern cancer treatment is based on precision and personalized therapy and proton therapy adds to the armamentarium of targeted therapy, precision oncology, immunotherapy and so on and so forth. Now, proton therapy has this remarkable physical and radiobiological advantage of getting the beam stopped and delivering all the ionizing radiation at a peak, what is called Bragg peak. And the modern proton therapy uses different energies based on different algorithms to deliver highly conformal and highly precise doses to the tumor and to the adjacent areas and significantly sparing the normal tissues. The Apollo Proton Cancer Center had the unique distinction of having the first proton therapy facility in India and South Asia and having already treated close to 1,200 patients in the last three to four years, we have accumulated a large body of evidence and experience and the requisite expertise to deliver world-class care for a range of tumors in the body. Traditionally, the technology was started with pediatric cancers and difficult located tumors in the skull base. But now with the accumulating evidence gathered throughout the world and also with collaboration that we have, we now realized this is also applicable in tumors close to the eye, many tumors in the brain, childhood cancers, head and neck cancers, very important in our country, thoracic cancers, difficulty located GI cancers like liver cancers and pancreas and rectum, prostate cancers, soft tissue sarcomas, and also the cancers uh, which are the evidence is accumulating or growing is in the left-sided breast cancer, esophageal cancers and thoracic cancers. 20% of the cancer patients will also need radiation second time and again proton therapy is very very important. So in nutshell, proton therapy is a very precise form of radiation and we were the first ones to do it. We have treated number of patients from 32 countries of the world and also will continue to do our best for the welfare of our patients such that not only they achieve cure but also their quality of cure because of the reduced side effects and maintain quality of life is ensured. Namaste, I am Dr. Dayananda, Head Department of Medical Physics at Apollo Proton Cancer Center, Chennai. At APCC, we have the latest state-of-the-art proton therapy facilities capable of delivering the most advanced volumetric image-guided intensity modulated proton therapy. Each of the three treatment rooms is equipped with the dedicated pencil beam scanning nozzles, robotic patient positioning system, onboard volumetric imaging for localization of tumor in six dimension, and the surface guidance for the management of moving tumor. We also have a contemporary X-ray-based radiation therapy technique called helical tomotherapy for the treatment of other indications. Heart of the proton therapy system is the cyclotron. Protons generated by separating electrons from the hydrogen atoms are injected at the center of the C230 isochronous cyclotron, wherein it is accelerated up to a maximum energy of 226 MeV in subjected to an azimuthally varying magnetic field. Following the extraction from the cyclotron, the high power proton beam is adjusted down to an energy of 70 MeV by a beam degrader located at the energy selection system. Afterwards, clinically requested specific proton energies are transported to the designated treatment room through a beam transport system, wherein a series serial network of quadrifold and dipole magnets and online monitoring devices ensure the delivery of finely focused, high quality proton pencil beam as narrow as 3 mm via a gantry. The 360-degree gantry rotation around the patient allows the delivery of clinically prescribed dose from various angles within submillimeter accuracy. The onboard 3D volumetric imaging ensures precise localizations of the tumor in six dimensions prior to treatment, which is realized by scanning each layer of the tumor with the protons of different energies. Medical physics department at APCC focus 
to provide the highest quality and uh, protocol driven and the quality assured services for the diagnosis and the treatment of cancer using radiation. In radiation therapy, a highly dedicated and committed team of medical physicists specialized at specific core areas perform characterization, consistency check, calibration, dosimetry of protons and photon beams following SOPs derived based on various consensus guidelines, protocols and numerous peer review journals. Along with our clinical and the therapist team, we embark on providing the highest quality personalized treatment to every patient who comes to us. Our site-specific medical physicists create personalized treatment plan for every patient using the most accurate algorithms and the personal expertise which she has accumulated over the period of time and also is reviewed by another physicist. Another group of physicists ensures that the simulated dose of the approved treatment plan meets the actual dose which is being delivered onto the patient through a process called patient-specific quality assurance program uh, which is developed based on many standards. This stringent and robustness process followed guarantees delivery of therapeutic dose precisely only to the tumor with pinpoint accuracy while protecting the nearby critical organs. The hallmark of the medical physics department is its strong focus on highest quality patient care. This is achieved by continuous research, innovations, and the interdepartmental or interinstitutional collaborations. Our dedication to excellence is proven through series of publications of original articles in peer review journals. The ongoing pursuit of knowledge remains a crucial part of our mission. Being the first photon therapy facilities in Southeast Asia and uh, Middle East, our journey towards providing the highest quality service to our patient was very, very challenging. But at the end, I think it is also a very exciting journey so far. And uh, we are very proud to say that I think we have contributed immensely to the nation in constituting the national framework policies and the protocols for the new centers coming up in India. Okay, all my colleagues joined me to thank the Apollo Hospital leadership, especially our respected chairperson and the vice chairpersons for believing on our capabilities and making us part of this uh, journey at Apollo family.